I'm curious to know how you came to this project. Had you read the film before you were offered it? You know, I, I actually had the... Somebody had sent me the book, and... Um, I never read it, and um, and then they said, oh, there's a script that's coming, and you know, give, they gave me a heads up. Like in two weeks, we got this script coming. Just, you know, keep your eyes open for it. And I said, I don't need to wait for that script. I got that book right there, and I read it, and then I was, um, you know, completely taken with it. Now, one of, the, one of the things I really love about this one has a message. You don't have to be just one thing. You can be a multitude of things. You've, uh, you know, you've had very different films. You've had The Illusionist, you've had Limitless, you've had this. How conscious are you of the need to you know, keep switching up and keep picking diverse films to direct? Well, yeah, yeah, all of my movies have been completely different from each other. And I, I like that somehow. And I'm not doing it just to be different, I'm just, but, but I am diff I'm interested in a lot of different things. And so, um, and, and I guess wanting to switch it up, you know, wanting to, to change it up sometimes. Um, but if I find something that's interesting, you know, I, I go after it, whether it's something that I've done before or not. Now, there's a ceremony, obviously, in this film where people are asked to sort of choose a faction to, you know, to show them who they're, who they're, who they are, who they're going to be. Uh, I'm guessing it wasn't as dramatic as that, but was there a moment in your younger years where you proved that you were destined to be a director? Well, I think that that's what's interesting about the story is that it's about, you know, who am I and where do I belong, you know? And I think that that's something that's universal for, for anybody, whether they're a filmmaker or whether any, any, any walk of life, you know, you're trying to figure out where you, where you fit into the world. Um, uh, obviously, with Shane Woodley's character, Tr um, Tris, in this film, you really get to learn more about her, more about her limitations as well. What did you learn about yourself making this film? What did I learn about myself making this film? That I could, like, I could endure large amounts of stress. <laughs> you got to elaborate on that one. <laughs> well, it's just, there's a lot of characters, there's a lot of story, there were a lot of events, there were a lot of visual effects, and they all had to be packed into this movie. And um, and it was, um, you know, it was a, it was great, but it was a real challenge. You did a great job. Well, final question. You know, I feel like you know, if we just met each other, but I do feel you know, we, we, we could become friends at a later date. Basically, be honest with me here. What faction do you think I would be in? Faction yeah. Would be. You're wearing the gray of abnegation, but you seem sort of dauntless, actually. See, thank you so much for saying that. So, can you help me up, Insurgent? I can be one of the Dauntless Pack. Yeah, man. <laughs> and make it happen. <laughs> Have a great premiere, sir. Thank you for talking to us. All right.